Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 6, aka the final season of Supergirl. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a stream weekly from now on. I haven't decided what day, but it's going to be coming up, so please be sure to check out the community tab. Also, follow me on Twitter if you're on Twitter, and I'll keep you guys up to date. Also, there's Instagram as well, so I'll let you know one way or another when it's going to be happening. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 6, and we've got a few questions from you guys. Also, we've got some big, big news as in regards to what is happening right now with filming, because Supergirl has gone back and they've officially started production on their latest season, aka season 6 so they are starting tonight so they haven't started right now but they are in fact starting today so that is the 13th of October they were supposed to start filming on the 28th of September so they were delayed about just over two weeks like the rest of the productions that had to be halted or weren't allowed to start so it's no big deal and we knew that this was going to be a temporary thing because it was just a lack of test results getting back very quickly at the rate that they were filming and obviously there is a lot of people working on a film set so they need to test a lot of people. Anyway, so yeah, they are officially back today. They're filming episode 1 for season 6. It has been announced that season 6 will in fact be 20 episodes and as you all know recently, it was confirmed that Supergirl is ending with season 6, so this is in fact the first day that they go back to filming for, you know, one of the last times that they will go back. So it's a big deal and I'm sure we're going to start to see some trailers, some footage, some information sort of start to come out in the new year. I don't think it's going to follow track with The Flash, Batwoman, Superman, Lois, which I think in about a month's time, maybe just a bit after, about six weeks, We'll start to see some promotional sort of material for those shows because they're coming out in January. However, even though Supergirl is starting at the same time as all those shows, we won't get that advertising until into the new year. However, there is always a chance, but I think it's very unlikely considering Supergirl probably won't premiere its new season until sort of late spring slash the start of summer. So presumably, maybe when, you know, the new shows come back, like The Flash and Batwoman, maybe like a month after that, so maybe heading into February or March or something, we'll start to see some promotional sort of promos, trailers coming out from Supergirl. But yeah, so for now, we may and we will actually definitely see some set photos, some set leaks, probably from sources that we talked about in yesterday's video, because we kind of talked about this with The Flash, when we're expecting some promos and our first looks. So we'll get our first look definitely in the streets, rather than promotional information or promotional sort of releases because, like I said, it's probably not going to be until next year. However, we will see them on set because they are currently filming from today onwards, and I presume they're going to do as much as they can indoors. I mentioned this, and the same thing goes for all the different shows, so it's just me repeating myself. But they are basically going to try and limit the amount of sort of outdoor activities, outdoor filming that they do. But anyway, so that is the big piece of new information that Supergirl is filming today. And now let's move on to the next part of the video, which is answering some of your guys' questions. So a few weeks ago, when Supergirl was announced that it was officially ending, I told you guys to send in a lot of questions regarding what do you think is going to happen in the final season, what do you need answered. So we're going to theorize about some of this, because we still have a lot of questions to go through, and you can add more if you've got more questions regarding Supergirl's final season. So we're going to go through them bit by bit over the next few weeks or so because, you know, we still got a long ways to go until Supergirl returns. So anyway, the first question comes from Rafaro on YouTube who asks, Ben, my question is, how will Kara leave National City? Also, will Lex be defeated? So, will Lex be defeated? Definitely yes, because John Cryer did an interview a while ago saying that they plan to actually defeat Lex, well, like, you know, in the storyline, in the show, at the end of Season 5. So they're definitely going to continue it forward. I reckon he's going to have a few more episodes than intended because of the way it ended last season. You know, we had the cliffhanger with him and his mum and they're going to be doing some evil things. Maybe Superboy is going to come out of that. 
we need to theorize about that and we have theorized about that so what do you guys think let me know but he's definitely going to be defeated at some point probably in the first half of the season i would say i don't know who the new villain is going to be for this season however lex is still around and i believe lex will be defeated like fairly quickly not right at the end of the season but like halfway through at least and so the other part of your question is to do with Kara, will she leave National City? So this is a thing that could happen. People have been speculating online that she'll go to the future, join up with Legion, return to Monel, and they all live in the future and that's how the show will end. Other people have been theorizing that Supergirl will die and, you know, sort of leave off with a Oliver Queen type death where, you know, she sacrifices herself essentially. But for me, I don't think she's going to do an Oliver Queen. I think more likely than not, she's going to go off somewhere. I think they're going to need some way to excuse her still being part of the Arrowverse, but not killing her off. But then Supergirl not showing up all the time, saying crossovers like every time they cross over and there's a big threat. But wait, where is Supergirl? So I think she will leave somewhere. Whether it is back to Midvale, kind of like how Superman and Lois on the new show, they are moving from Metropolis back to Smallville, so maybe that is an option because, you know, her mum's there. Maybe she just wants to live there. However, probably the most popular option right now is she'll go to the future and be with Monel and the Legion. She'll be a hero in the future, and that's why she can't be in the past. So I would say that's the best option as of right now. But will she leave National City? I think she has to whether it is physically leaving to another town or actually leaving the time period would probably be a bit better and it would be a bit sort of better with continuity if we have crossovers which we will have okay so let's move on to the next question this comes from zara abdullah on youtube who asks do you think there will be returning characters for the season finale such as makar brooks Callista flockhart chris wood jeremy jordan etc so yeah i believe there will be some returning cast members i think more likely than not it's probably going to be jeremy jordan and chris woods i don't believe mccard is actually in town like at the moment because he was filming mortal kombat i think it was in australia i presume he lives in los angeles normally i think mccard probably has a high chance of going back because he was such a big character on the show i don't think Callista flockhart will return considering she hasn't been back since like season two so it's been a while. Chris is probably going to be living in Vancouver for most of the year. Considering he is probably going to be staying with Melissa, they're not going to be split up like they were doing last year. Basically, I think Chris was staying in Los Angeles and Melissa would fly down to LA like once every few weekends or something like that. But considering the current circumstances with Melissa and the pandemic, I believe he's going to be staying in Vancouver. So there is a high chance Chris returns for some sort of final appearance maybe in the season finale also jeremy jordan is a very high chance because he did return last season for three episodes and i presume he's going to come back because he was such a vital part of the show and he did come back so i don't see why he won't come back again however there is the sort of problem of we don't know how many guest stars are going to have on the show considering restrictions but I reckon they'll find a way to bring in some of these original cast members once again. So yeah, hope that answered your question. Okay, so Sohan Nala on YouTube asks, maybe taking other actresses and continuing the show would be great. So for me, I would totally be against that. I don't think recasting is good, barely in any circumstances. And they are definitely not going to do this with Supergirl, considering the showrunners, and I've said this so many times over the past few weeks since the announcement, but it was a joint decision with Melissa and the showrunners and Warner Brothers that they're going to end the show. So, you know, they're not going to recast, like, suddenly, and they're not going to reboot it, at least for, you know, like, 15, 10 years or something like that. So we'll have to wait and see. But recasting is not the way to go forward maybe you like it maybe some other people like it however i don't think we're ever gonna see this with supergirl okay so mega wubba on youtube asks which supergirl characters would you like to see join other arrowverse shows and which ones deserve their own spin-off series so i've been wanting to touch on this for a while and i believe as of right now Probably Dreamer is the most likely to go on to another show like Legends or maybe she makes some cameo appearances in Superman and Lois. 
I think, you know, Martian Manhunter has a good chance of showing up again because he's sort of this, like, senior member of Team Supergirl. Like, he's been around for such a long time. So I can see him popping up in crossovers every now and again. Maybe showing up on Superman and Lois. But I think Dreamer or Brainy would be more likely to be on Legends. I think Jean will be on Superman and Lois because he has a proper relation with Superman. So I could see that happening. In terms of the spin-off show, we've mentioned it before, I think a Legion spin-off show would be really good. I don't know how likely that is, considering the fact that we literally just got our first Supergirl spin-off show, which is Superman Lois. But maybe sometime in the near future, we'll have to see. Okay, so let's go on to answer a few final questions. And this links into the recasting question, so this comes from Terry Lake on YouTube who asks, the end of the television series could clear the way for Supergirl in the DC Extended Universe. Do you think that we will see the cinematic debut of Kara zor within the next five years? And would Melissa Benoist be considered for the role? So yeah, there's been lots of talk over the years about making a Supergirl film, and this definitely will make way for Supergirl in the DCEU, but I don't think that's the reason why they ended the show, they wanted to end the show, but Nevertheless, it does open up options for Supergirl in films, and do you think we will see it in the next five years? I reckon probably, but there is a high chance that due to all the delays right now, maybe it may be delayed even further, which is a shame because I really do want to see her in the DCU, and considering the fact that Melissa is stopping being Supergirl and she won't have that long ass television schedule for the whole year, like nine months filming in Vancouver, yeah, she could totally show up in the film if they did a Supergirl film. However, I don't know how likely it is that Melissa will want to do it again considering she wants to stop it, but maybe if it's in like five years or something, she's missing Supergirl, maybe she will come back and play Supergirl in a film. I would love that. I'm sure most of you guys would as well. So yeah, that is it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching, remember we're going to be doing a new thing that is the live stream, and we're going to sort out what date that is, I'll let you know via the community tab in a video, Twitter or Instagram, go check out all of those wherever you wish, and yeah, so that's about it for this video, please be sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you're new, really helps the channel if you share the videos around, so thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later, goodbye. I see red.